Yet another case of troops being deployed on the streets of the United States. Recently, a local Infowars.com reporter in Hartford, Connecticut, sent us this footage. Is here, yo. Where it looks as if troops are being deployed on the local neighborhood streets in Hartford. It's not yet to be determined which types of troops these are. But if this is the case, it would again be a direct violation of the Posse Comitatus Act. And yet another in a long list of violations by the local and federal government by using troops against the people of the United States. Take a look for yourself. The National Guard is out here for a gathering. Everyone's on the sidewalk. And the National Guard is out here. This is Prince Vega reporting live right from Connecticut. The National Guard is out here. Wow. I am not recording it. The National Guard is out here in Hartford right now, Hartford, Connecticut. Oh shit! Yo, Blaze, come on, yo. We close. Yo. They're chasing us. They're chasing us off the street. They're chasing with sticks, like off of the streets. They're, they're, they're chasing. They're walking us off the street. Hit me with that stick is on. Hit me with that stick is on. It's Prince Vega before I lie. Yeah, we out here. The greatest protection out here is the camera. The National Guards is out here right now. They didn't let us. It's so many of them right now. Okay, we're going to go right now to Prince Vega in Hartford, Connecticut. Prince, thanks for joining us. Yeah, so tell us about what happened. Um, rather congested with the high volume of police. It seemed like it was more, more um, um, law enforcement than it actually were people, which surprisingly, like I said before, the um, the totality of somebody's attitudes and their emotional responses when interacting with um. Innocent civilians that's obeying the law, I believe, is under the influence of uh, the person currently in charge. And clearly it wasn't the Hartford Police Department. Um, I have reasonable suspicion those actions were being ordered by a higher authority based on the warlike atmosphere that surrounded the peaceful gathering. It was, it was kind of interesting. So what we have here is like the law enforcement's just basically storming the... the peaceful event and, and this is a process that has been celebrated in Connecticut for the past 47 years I mean this was the third hosted event by the CICD if people don't know what that is that's the Connecticut Institute for Community Development and the supposed goal of the newest board of directors because the board of directors is new I personally believe they probably are CIA anyway was to enhance the futures of the parade, um, features of the um, parade by promoting cultural awareness through extensive community outreach and a relationship building but my question is, what kind of relationship are you building with law enforcement when you're a block away from the parade with automatic, automatic weapons ready to storm in the peaceful gathering? Because that's exactly what happened here. 
Now, it's a really good video, but um, t tell us what you, from, from the video, what do you uh, guess? What types of troops were these? Could you see any markings or see any um, insignias or anything like that? Uh, it was the Puerto Rican Day Parade. It was celebrated on June 3rd. Like I said, it was um, the 47th year. Um, it was um, it was very interesting to actually be approached by those type of people because nobody was aware of the of the of who the people actually were. I mean, we never seen these kind of people before, but we normally come through encounters where people like this normally just pop up out of suspicion and just create a congested situation, which just a high crowd, it's slow traffic and everything. They had everything blocked off. It was, it was ridiculous, man. It was hard to actually explain it because um, during when I was approaching War Street, um, coming through all right off the corner of Affleck, I seen heavily, heavily armed military men clipping up in front of children. It, it, it was ridiculous. And there was this guy that was actually giving the orders and whatever. They had the whole place blocked off. They were hopping out on people from every quarter. I'm talking Washington Street, War Street, um, Putnam Street, Capitol Avenue, everywhere. They had everything blocked off completely. Mm, yeah. There were long sticks. They're like, they looked like uh, two by fours. You know, it looked like Buford Buford T. Pusser and walking walking tall or something like that. It's very bizarre. When they actually pulled up in their vehicles, they actually left the guns behind um, when they hopped out because they seen we were recording. It was numerous people out there that was actually recording, and the debate was who the people actually were. That's why you hear me saying the National Guards constantly because we were debating on who they actually were because we never really got approached by people in those type of vehicles like that it seems like they were um busting a drug tra drug trafficking ring for um peaceful assembly it was kind of ridiculous um but a block away but when they first came they were they had the biggest guns i have ever seen and but the whole street was blocked off they did not want us recording they did not want us approaching them but it was happening everywhere. I couldn't necessarily get a glimpse of um, any type of um, markings or anything, but the uniforms clearly identified that they were a higher authority and not the law enforcement for the um, Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut. So, did uh, were you know what were people's reactions? I saw you with quite a few people from this area, this neighborhood. Were they were they scared? Were they shocked? Uh, was it something that? Uh, made people angry what were some of the reactions i think it was more the level of fear was extremely high of course there was a lot of very disappointed people and a couple of depressed people who basically is used to being um in altercations with the police department for whatever reasons but normally in situations like this you you i mean it's completely typical like they they frame people in Hartford, connecticut all the time it's um We've seen, we've reported in the past on urban warfare drills in multiple cities across the country. So it, a lot of times in these things, they're doing uh, using public events and public gatherings to do sort of wet runs or dry runs on urban warfare training using different sort of paramilitary groups. This looked like definitely dressed. Uh, so half of them were looked like paramilitary. The other half were, looked like uniformed National Guard soldiers. So does it look like a mixed a mixed group of uh, of guys, thugs basically? I think um, it requires a lot more research to actually identify and um, actually analyze the situation and actually compare it with what I find by research to actually judge it. But they they literally closed the parade down about three hours before it actually started. So I'm not actually actually sure what it actually it probably was was a drill when you actually think about it because what other reason would they shut it down so early for is it could it be a reason that they are trying to exercise their power and trying to clear something ahead of schedule just to make sure that they can be able to do it in the near future when they declare martial law on the people which is happening now but then again that's just in the thought and i'm going to jump to a conspiracy supposition i'd rather just judge it by research and what I see from my eyes is that they they were bullying kids. They were they were pouring out pouring out the water. They were throwing bottles at people. They were telling people to get the f out of the road. They were cussing out of people. It, it was ridiculous, man. It was it was outrageous. It, it was actually a lot of people who were who were actually aggravated. I mean, it, they were aggravated because it happened so often in Hartford. Like it was a lot of people that were aggravated. Like a lot of people really wanted to 
um, get involved with a physical, get involved with a physical confrontation with law enforcement because it happens so often in Hartford when no one, when no one's bothering them. It's, it's ridiculous. I think the level of, um, the, um, the police just exercising their authority for whatever reason in a fragile manner when they're supposed to be social and that kind of job is, is ridiculous. I think it's out of control. Well, I want to thank you for uh, being there and also for getting that footage. It's fantastic. Uh, thank you, Prince Vega, for joining us. And uh, hopefully we're going to talk to you again soon. Thanks for having me. That's Prince Vega from Hartford, Connecticut, with film of paramilitary troops being deployed on the streets of a local neighborhood. This is Patrick Henningsen. Thank you very much. Infowars.com.